Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report in today's Week 16 preview. It's presented by our good friends, Panda Subs. If anybody out there needs to get in better shape during the holidays, we got a great deal made for this week and this week only. Use code FPIT. F the Pittsburgh Steelers, 25% off, and you're going to get a free shaker. I would recommend getting the greens, and they just put out a new pre-workout called the Pump. You know what I'm talking about. Pandasups.com, the link's going to be available for you guys in the comments and in the description of today's video. So last week we did a preview. The Raiders ended up getting a W. I'm a superstitious person, so let's go back to the well. Another preview here because this is a big-time game. You want to keep your playoff hopes alive? You got to win. Both teams need to win this game. Am I nervous that this game's on the road? No doubt about it. Am I nervous that this is an East Coast game? No doubt about it. You got two six and eight teams that are equally matched in terms of the Raiders are a better offensive team, the Steelers are a better defensive team. So with all of that being said, I got to know. <laughs> I got to know. Scale it one to ten. What is your confidence level? Be honest. Th think about it. Be honest. Confidence level in the Raiders beating the Steelers in week 16. Scale it for me from one to ten. I'm hoping... It's up there a little bit, but I got to be real. It's a five for me, dog. So let's look at this AFC playoff picture. Both teams are still in the hunt. And the way that the seeds are broken down, the Raiders are slightly above the Pittsburgh Steelers. But the Baltimore Ravens, no Lamar Jackson, 9-5. Very interesting team to watch there. The Chargers at 8-6. and six, Interesting to watch. The Dolphins at 8-6. and six. Watch out for the Titans, who are 7-7, seven and seven, going up against Jacksonville. Jacksonville already beat Tennessee, and the Jags have to play Tennessee, I believe, the final game of the season. So there's a lot of stuff that can still go down, depending on who wins the games this week. The AFC wildcard race is this. You got the Patriots and the Jets, 8-9 and nine at 7-7. Seven and seven. And then because of common opponents, in terms of strength of schedule, tiebreakers, the Jags are at number 10. The Raiders at 11, Browns and Steelers. I still go back to that freaking game earlier in the year where the Raiders blew a 17-point lead against Jacksonville. I look at the Raiders being 6-8 and eight and think of all the games that they blew this season and the fact that they're 6-8 and eight makes me want to go absolutely crazy. Speaking of going crazy, Jeremy and I are going to be going crazy on Saturday, Christmas Eve. I told Alex, we are going to get lit. We are going to get super lit on Christmas Eve. And if you haven't already subscribed, over 100,000 people are going to join the number one most watched Raiders watch party out there. Hit that subscribe button. And Jeremy just told me, bring your ho-ho-hos. Because you know what? I'm going to bring my ho-ho-homies. And my homies are the guys on Mount Rushmore. Major shout out to Raiders Podcast, Trivan, Wild 114, Raider Ron, I know that they're going to be there. Are you going to be hanging out with my ho-ho homies on Mount Rushmore this weekend? You better be. If you bleed silver and black, if you're a diehard Raider fan, put it in your calendar. Show up, show out. Until that fat lady's singing, we're going to be here. And even when the fat lady does sing, hopefully she doesn't sing. You're still getting videos every single day, and we're still doing watch parties here on the Raiders Report. So coming up next here, let's get into some keys to victory. I've been trying to switch up the keys to victory a little bit because... I've been getting a little stale. Like The first one has always been Josh Jacobs. He's not going to be the first one of my keys to victory today. If you do these five things, the Raiders will be victorious. First one, protect Derek Carr. The offensive line's got to show up. Am I nervous that Alex Bars might not be able to play? It's crazy to say, but yes, because without Bars, the depth gets a little iffy, and Ronas Grasso makes me nervous. Dylan Parham. He would not have been able to practice on Tuesday. He left the game early. So you're down two offensive guards going up against a very talented Pittsburgh Steelers front with Highsmith, with T.J. Watt. And I've just seen for far too long when Derek gets rattled, the game usually doesn't go the way that you want it to go. The Raiders are 2-5 and five this season when Carr is sacked at least two times in a game. So 2-5 and five when you're sacked at least twice. If you can protect D.C., give him time to throw. And I think last week they did a good job. Now, don't get me wrong. The, the Patriots at times got after him. Protect D.C. You protect D.C., it's going to be a good game. And then if you protect D.C., also a way to protect him is leaning on your run game with Josh Jacobs. I mean, he's number two. He's not number one. He's number two. And 
He needs to always be on a key to victory because he's just been that good this season. And if you do a keys to victory show and you don't include the NFL leading rusher, I question what type of keys are you even looking at? In wins this season compared to losses, and these stats are per game. Josh Jacobs this season in wins is averaging 25.5 carries per game, 143.6 rushing yards, 5.6 yards per carry, 1.3 rushing touchdowns, and 32.1 receiving yards. In losses, carries 17.3, rushing yards 79.1, an average of 4.6, 0.38 rushing touchdowns, receiving yards 21.5. This might surprise you. But the more you put the ball in Josh Jacobs' hands, the better the Raiders have done this season. I know, it's a wild thought. On top of that, in terms of protecting Derek Carr, the, the, we, we know. If you're a Raider fan, you know what's going to happen. The media is going to start talking. Derek Carr can't play in cold weather games. Well, the numbers do back it up. The Raiders are 0-6 when Derek Carr is the quarterback in games under 37 degrees. 0-5 in the regular season. The playoff game last year against Cincinnati was under 37 degrees as well. 0-6 is not great. And the weather is going to be frigid in Pittsburgh. Now, my dad is a weatherman. He's literally named Doppler on my phone. He's been trying to fill me in on as much weather reports as possible. But it does look like this. Kickoff temperatures are going to be around 10 degrees. That's frigid. Wind chill is going to be around minus 2. It might be minus 3. It might be minus 4. You see a negative sign? <laughs> That's uh, that's cold no matter what. So when I talk about Derek Carr and I talk about Josh Jacobs, let's just say the game's on the line, okay? Whether it be third and one, right? I'm talking, when I say game on the line here, I'm saying like fourth and one, third and one, a tough conversion, third and three. Who do you go to? Are you going to run the ball with Josh Jacobs or would you pass the ball with Derek Carr? You're Josh McDaniels, you're Ziegler, what would you rather the Raiders do? I can't wait to see what the answers are to this one. Now remember y'all, today's preview is presented by our good friends at Panda Subs. Panda Subs is owned by a diehard Raider fan. He's been a sponsor for wow, almost two years now, my guy. And he's hooking the nation up with an awesome, awesome deal. So use code FPIT to get 25% off. You're also going to get a free shaker at pandasups.com. The Panda Immune Boost, right, which is what you're going to be able to get here with these greens. Our immune system may be disrupted by stress. When we are stressed, the immune system's ability to fight off toxins could be reduced. Boosting the immune system could help increase natural energy, digest food more efficiently, and make you feel better throughout the day. With 14 different organic powders, Panda ensures you receive the very best to help naturally boost energy and improve your immunity. I mean, let's face it, y'all. Being a Raider fan, there's a lot of stress in being a Raider fan. So if you take advantage of this deal right now, you can scan this QR code to get the greens. If you're stressed, you need that immune system up, it's cold out, it's important to stay healthy during the holidays, use code FPIT. If you need to get in better shape, well, they also just released a brand new pre-workout called Pump. Pump is an advanced stimulant-free pre-workout loaded with the power of nootropics to help with performance and sustained focus. Pump pre-workout is perfect for anybody sensitive to stimulants, working out late at night, or cycling off of caffeine. This pre-workout helps with a massive increase in ni nitric oxide and a significant boost in muscle strength and endurance. So if you want this brand new pump, I take nootropics before every show. They really wake up your mind. I have yet to get my hands on the pump, but it does sound pretty good to me. So if you want the pump, scan that QR code right there or go into the comments section down below. Pandasups.com, code FPIT, 25% off and free shaker for this week and this week only. Let's go to more keys to victory here. <laughs> I think I speak on behalf of every Raider fan. If I'm tossing and turning at night and Alex is like, are you okay? Are you dreaming about this or that? I'm dreaming about the Raiders' second half because the second half this season is just a nightmare. I mean, it really truly is. Look at these numbers here. Stats by the half. Raiders' first half points, 12.9. Second half points, 10.4. 11th in the league, 21st in the league. First half time of possession. The Raiders, 53.5% time of possession. Fourth in the NFL. Second half time of possession, 47.2%. I know it's not a lot of time, but in the NFL, game of inches, few seconds... Yeah, it's a big deal. In terms of stats by quarter, time of possession, Raiders have had the football the second most in the first, 11th most in the second, 
25th most in the third, and then 27th most in the fourth. I will admit, these numbers are a little bit skewed because for whatever reason, it seems like the Raiders lose the toss every single week, and they always get the ball in the first quarter. But I do think looking at the time of possession differences in first half and then the second half, there's a big difference there. The Raiders need to get better in the second half. We all agree. Let's go to the next one here. Convert in the red zone. You always need to be able to convert in the red zone, right? No shit, Mitch. Tell me something I don't know. But when I look at a lot of teams, I'll straight up say the Raiders on the offensive side of the football are much better than the Pittsburgh Steelers. And for me, the Raiders are going to get more red zone opportunities than Pittsburgh. So if you can turn those red zone opportunities into touchdowns, you are going to win the game. The issue is the Raiders on the road this season have been terrible in the red zone. The Raiders have scored a touchdown in 38.1% of their red zone trips on the road on the road at home they're much better in the red zone on the road though 29th in the nfl in red zone efficiency 38.1 percent that number needs to go a lot higher the raiders are statistically better in total yards and passing rushing points per game every offensive metric quarterback play better running back play better more talented wide receivers better tight end I, I still think Waller's better than Pat Fryer moved. The offensive line. The Raiders even have probably a better offensive line than Pittsburgh. That's how bad Pittsburgh is offensively. So you have all the offensive numbers. You just need to execute. I sound like McDaniels, which makes me <laughs> kind of want to go nuts. But it's the truth. You execute in the red zone, you're going to win this football game. Still got one more key to victory here. And we're going to try to keep you guys up to date even during the holidays on everything around the Raiders news rumors. Hit me up here to stay up to date. If you want to try to take down our defending champion back-to-back -back weeks, Aaron, he has won our NFL Week Pick'em Challenge in Week 14 and in Week 15. Challenge him and a lot of the other goats out there like Brandon Jasper, Wild 114, Lord Buddy Bear, Joshua. They're all there. RaidersReport.Locals.com. Scan that QR code to join our NFL Pick'em Challenge, extra live videos, extra content from me and a lot of the other diehard fans. Final one is this. Be mentally tough. The Pittsburgh Steelers are always going to give you a tough game. Mike Tomlin is one of the best head coaches in the NFL, and he always has his team ready to play. But it's not only just about being mentally tough. The Raiders got to be better in terms of not committing so many penalties. Last game, 13 penalties on the offensive side of the football. That can't help, or can't happen. On top of that, it's going to be cold. Everybody knows it's going to be cold. Growing up in the Northeast, playing baseball in 20-degree weather, you knew it was going to be cold. You just had to go out there and perform. You know why? Nobody gives a shit that it's cold. Your job is to go out there and perform. So in a game, you need to be mentally tough. You're the underdog. Use that to your advantage. The most mentally tough team in this one, and just the most tough team, I believe it's going to come out on top. So knowing that the over-under in this one is at 39.5 and, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are three-point favorites, let me know what you all are thinking. Predict the score right now. Raiders, Steelers. I need to know what you all are thinking. And usually when we do previews, you get the opposing team's fans in the chat. I was also told that our Steelers host here is going to send some people our way. So if that happens, I need you to back up the nation because he says Steelers nation and it makes me want to rip my hair out. So one more time here, the keys to victory against the Steelers. Protect Derek Carr, lean on Josh Jacobs. For the love of God, we need to step it up in the second half, convert in the red zone, and be mentally tough. If you do know those five things, you are going to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hopefully you all tune into our watch party on Christmas Eve. Hopefully everyone has an amazing holiday, even if you can't. But if you do want to party with Raider Nation, Jeremy Juggs and I, remember, subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report.